That's creepy. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel and today I will be reacting to the fifth episode of Fate the Winx Saga and the last episode was such a game changer and really just revealed big things for the story and the show in general and I am like really on board with it and so excited and like there are characters that you're meant to kind of like but then in the last episode it's kind of like actually no we shouldn't like you because you're actually evil and then people that were like you are evil you need to disappear and now we're like oh let's protect them like it's such a good show in that the fact that where you stand in your position on characters and things have like completely changed within episode per episode and the fact that this season is only six episodes it's like ridiculous like we've got two episodes to go and then it's done like come on anyway i hope you guys enjoy this reaction let's go Pushing through her mental defenses is painless. This is an act. I doubt it. My story's a better one. It's what they'll whisper in the halls when this is all over. They'll say Beatrix was damaged, everyone knew that. But they have appeared since you arrived. Do you have something to do with them? And one night, the screaming stopped. Sorry. Was that not the story you wanted to hear? I need some air. This particular air? Hmm? I know what you're doing. You don't know anything. You want to talk to her, don't you? What? Have they even had a sing together? Like, all of a sudden. Where is this come from? As many as it takes, correct? I mean, they were soldiers before they were teachers, so I guess it's very on brand for Althea faculty. A good lesson, Professor, as usual. Ever since my trip with Beatrix, they've been watching me like a hawk. I have to make sure they don't think I'm one of her evil henchwomen. Can't I use my magic against an actual enemy? Not all fairy magic is suited to combat rules. Support is equally, if not more, important. She's right, you know. You're a force out there. Thanks. Sweet moves, Riv. I've never seen somebody die so many different ways so quickly. <laughs> you should go for our face, got talent. What was that? Seriously, Perry and me were blue. That seems pretty obvious. Well, Bloom's a powerful fairy. You're a strong specialist. Nobody questioned it. What have you found out? She hasn't said anything about her road trip with Beatrix. I'm telling No need to get up. You clearly love it down there. Let me know when you want to start pulling your weights so on. that? Rosalind. Two minutes, 15 seconds. That's the fastest that you brought one down. They were attacking the burn one. Not far from the school. <clears throat> Once we killed it, we let our guard down. <clears throat> we should alert the Salarians. We tried. They've been radio silent for days. And they pulled the troops from the battalion. What? I don't like to see weird sex from war, my brother. In your mind, I just sit on my bed, listen to grunge, do a rune time where I can sex in your brother, don't I? Just a few more plants, and then it won't feel so goosey. Uh, wait, do you miss Stella? No. <laughs> she was mean and insulting and, and, and left without saying goodbye, which is actually the meanest thing she could have done. Would you like me to insult you? Would that make you feel better? What? No. <laughs> maybe. Maybe, um, <laughs> like, my outfit? So She's been single-minded about her birth parents and Rosalind for weeks. 
and now it, it seems like she doesn't care at all. Are we actually... I told you then. Good girl. Did you? Short answer, yes. What the hell, Beatrix? I know somebody who can tell you. Who? Where are they keeping her? I can show you. And it gave me hurt like a motherfucker. On your way out? She's the only person here who ever made me feel like being different was a good thing. So why... I'll take that as a yes. I think I just threw up. Huh. I saw you on the support rounds with Miss Downing at training. I wouldn't expect a mind fairy to have such good moves. Get back into his head, I want to know his thoughts. What's up, look? Nothing. You want to head back to the suite? Because it's one of the most powerful fairies. Bullshit! We're powerless when things actually go wrong. Okay, this is about way more than training. <laughs> Wanna come out now? Stella! New magic, not bad. Thanks. Yeah, it gets uh, loud and sweet. What's up? That is a book. Wow. I told him that he was crazy, that there was there was nothing going on. And that you were just frustrated and you, you wanted answers and you're gonna find them. He's spying on me? I am trying to be on your side here. You're making it really difficult. Boom. You can trust me. My mother. I'm struggling to see how a single burned one outside the barrier is a serious problem. There are two of them travelling together. That hasn't happened since. Never show weakness. See, that's all she cares about. So she'd never say that she lost her. And I'm an extension of her strength. This is some sort of part. My methods are effective. And they don't cause students to lose control and blind their friends. My magic is erratic because of her. My mum. If people thought I did it on purpose. Because at least if I'm a raging bitch or a monster, I'm not weak. Wow, he really is different. He's not the sweet little guy that. He cares about me again. Like... I've always cared about you. Really? Because it seemed like I did one bad thing and you cut me off. Oh, okay. <laughs> I smell a trap. Oh! What's going on with you and Blue? Go and tell us. Or oh. what? You're not going to. At least you were raised by people who knew yours. You had stories. You saw pictures. <laughs> right. It's almost like he's still alive. But he's not. He's an ideal. Do you have any idea how hard it is to love to? I have to be. Because I'm supposed to be. Because. Because when I fix other people, I don't have to think about how fucking broken I am. Made her power stronger and, act and did it. <laughs> oh no! You consider it a rite of passage. That means worse, by the way. <laughs> did I hear right that Andreas's son played a role in taking down the one about you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> You guys don't know what I, I know. We do. Dane told us about Astadel. See, you get it, you understand? All I've seen is how hard she's trying. 
They're all trying to keep us safe. They lied about a woman being dead for 16 years, about a war crime. I Blue. Wow. Your friends, Blue. Did she just have the realization of what she was doing? I know how hard this must be. Yeah. All the reasons stuff keeps falling and breaking. <laughs> And if I can't express them verbally, I'm not a poltergeist too. <laughs> I wonder if we have to tell Dowling. Don't you dare. <laughs> I think we should tell her. Stella has an opinion about that. I have an opinion. <laughs> I have an opinion. Everyone in this damn suite is so black or white. Bloom is a pain in the ass. But she deserves to know who she is. Rosalind. I told you she's- I know that she's alive, so don't lie to me again. Oh. I don't have time for this right now, Blue. I'm from Astrodel. You did it anyways. Rosalind. She's still manipulating people after all these years. What does that mean? She thought day was immensely powerful. Till then, we didn't know fairies could combine their magic. When we realized what she'd done, What we done? That day has lived in my mind for 16 years. Zealot. She wanted every bird one dead, no matter the cost. She thought if she told us she couldn't evacuate, that we'd have said no, and she'd have been right. What about me? Why did she save me? Why did she... I will help you get the answers you need. I give you my word. We need to go. Now. It's almost like we take a step forward and then three steps back. We need answers. People have been keeping them from you and we didn't want to be those people too. Actually, the bit that uh, I usually couldn't quite get on board with. Yeah, well, she never really liked my ideas anyway. This is it. This is building up to an interesting finale. You look like shit. Well, I feel like it, so that makes sense. Yeah, well, Taro, the super spy with Dane spill. He said Bloom went out there to do something with a magic key and I couldn't reach you, so... Where's Dane? much more satisfying than a flower pot. <laughs> Break out the villain to get what Bloom wants. Oh, that is karma. But I, I don't know if he'd leave me down here. But even the best parents are doing what they think is best for us. At some point, we have to take over for ourselves. <laughs> Cause Stella would have heard her say that too. That's creepy. That's creepy. So, that was a very good episode, right? Like, it is just getting better and better and better. And so many things happened in that episode that I'm even struggling to piece them together and like put them back into a summary of my thoughts. But all you need to really know is that I was very intrigued by Beatrice's actions. And I guess in this episode, Bloom had to make a choice and the sweet even had to make a choice to kind of and I love that Stella was part of that like Stella kind of said to them like you know what at the end of the day Bloom doesn't know where she comes from and everyone deserves the right to kind of know that so we might have to do a couple of bad things just to get her those answers and I really love the bond of that group 
And I love that all of a sudden now Stella's kind of in that group and really a part of it. Like that was really sweet and really cool. And I think that was something that was missing from the show. I guess um, Stella wasn't the very nice kind of person. She didn't display that way. But then once we've kind of seen her story develop and her character and get a bit more backstory, you can tell why she fits for that group now. And I love it. And that's so good. And I love how each of the individual characters in that group or that suite are so different as well. Yes, they're different by their powers, but they're different because they all bring something different to the table. And then you've got like Sam and Muse who are like beautiful and like the most chill couple ever and the most stable thing in this show at this point. And then the whole like Bloom and Sky thing is so complicated. Like... The fact that she basically manipulated him almost to get away is scary in a fact, but I'm kind of interested to see how that develops. And you've just got to remember Aisha went to the border or the boundary to warn them all about what she was doing too. So you don't just have Bloom going to have this time with Rosalind without interruption. Like you're going to have a force coming at her. So we're leading into a finale where the burn ones are at the border stacking up in a big group. Then you've got the, you've got Rosalind and Bloom kind of starting to explode and find out more, and then they're all going to kind of collide, and the stage is set for a finale that I'm really actually excited for, and I'm curious to see how they'll play out and where they'll leave us because I do know it's picked up for a second season, so I'm curious to see where they go with that too and how they end and. Is it wrong that I wanted to end with a cliffhanger that makes me just, my mind just explode? Like, that's what I'm hoping for at this point. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, give a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Make sure to click subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.